come here brings back such good memories I mean this is where it all started for me when I moved to Texas I found a uh, sailboat that I fell in love with in the back of a sailing magazine this is before we had the internet that's how you found things classified papers and magazines and it was uh, listed that it was in Houston I'm like oh, where the hell is Houston I know it's in Texas didn't know anything about it I came down here, found out it's in this little town of Seabrook. I fell in love with the town, with the boat. Everything just fell into place. My life began down here. It's been wonderful. It really has. I just got out of the marina office and spoke to the lady. They had a dock for 245, but I didn't really like it. Um, so I've got this other dock I'm going to go look at. It's 285, but it's a much better place to be. It really is. I mean, I say that I haven't even seen it yet, but I, I know this marina like the back of my hand. <laughs> show you the tour. Música rosa with a style and fashion. El ritmo del flamenco is heard to Japan. Embalaje de la flauta en banana for fun. This is a cool dock. I've always wanted to be on this dock. I really have. I love this point. I used to go out to that gazebo out there. Read the Bible. So I always like this area. Let's go check it out. Yeah, I can't even tell you. This is a good day. So I'm gonna leave the shipyard now. I'm gonna go over to the wharf marina and uh, get the boat ready to move. All right, now I'm back at the wharf marina. I text Gary and he's gonna show up with his little skiff and we're gonna pull the boat across Clear Lake. It should be pretty interesting. Um, we're gonna do it side by side to the skiff. So I'm just gonna hang out on the boat and uh, work on it, clean it up, and do whatever I can do until I hear from him. So here we go.
شدی Toad, but we're on the water. I got Ronnie up there. I love it. We're on the water. We're being towed, but uh, we're making progress today. We got out of this marina uh, before they lock my boat to the dock and uh, going to our new marina, the Seabrook Shipyard. I'm so excited. I can't even tell you. Nice floating dock. Got a fitness center. Uh, it's going to be brilliant. But uh, we got a little journey ahead and uh, a little rainstorm, but it's not bad. There's no wind. It's very calm, so we couldn't ask for a better day for uh, this operation. And it's gone a little rough this morning, but we're on the water and uh, it really won't take us too long, maybe a half hour. So we'll see how it goes. And I'll film as much as I can, but I'm I'm very happy. I'm glad I met this guy. Oh, okay, I thought someone's going for <laughs> It's been one of those mornings, but uh, here we go. Big day, but we're here. We made it to the Seabrook Shipyard. <sighs> I paid a guy, Ronnie, that I met at uh, the old marina, the wharf, and uh, he was just some old guy that uh, had a had a dinghy with a five horsepower Nissan outboard on the back. I offered him a hundred bucks to, you know, pull me across the lake, and we did it, just barely. The whole time he's saying. We're going about two knots. I know my speeds. That was not five knots. <laughs> that was two. It's, it's, it's a solid two. But anyway, well, he asked me where where's the dock, and I said, oh, we just got to take a left at the fuel dock. He's like, the fuel dock? Oh no! I think he had a bad experience. Uh, he was telling me about about the current uh, around the fuel dock, and uh, we make it all the way here and all the way. All the way here, all the way here. He's all stressing and coming up with his big plan, you know. When we get there, we're gonna hit it and then we cut it hard this way and cut it that way and I'll cut power. And I'm like, and I'm looking at the current on the buoys as we go by, I'm just kind of reading the water. So I'm like, oh, we're, yeah, cool, we're, we're good, we're good. And anyway, so we get all the way there. And we're coming up on the fuel dock and he's stressing. All of a sudden, what happens? The most critical part of the journey the motor starts making strange sounds, starts to cut out. I'm like, I ask him, 
and you bring enough gas, and it's like, we got gas, it's overheating. <clears throat> and it's an old outboard. I would not have even done it if there was a hint of wind, but it was so flat. I'm like, man, we can make it. It did take a lot longer than I thought. But anyway, so we get up and it's conking out. And man, there is a little bit of current, but not much. But man, I didn't want to deploy the anchor and be stuck out there because that's our only means of transportation was that little outboard on his dinghy that was tied to the side of my boat. Anyway, we get up the fuel dock. This guy comes out and um, I threw my dock line to him and it was probably only a 10 foot dock line, 15 at the most. And it was just within maybe six inches of being long enough for the deck hand to catch it, the dock hand. And he caught it, did a great job and uh, pulled us in. And then we sat there and let the engine cool for a while. And then we tried to get over here and um, I think the motor was acting up. It didn't have a lot of power, something was going on. We ended up uh, this family that I met on a Beneteau down here. Um, a dad and his son and his wife was here too. Uh, we went and uh, dragged the boat across all the transoms down about maybe 10 boats. You know how that is. Somebody goes out on the finger pier and then you throw a line and you fend off the, uh, the rudders and the outboards and the barbecues and everything on the back of the sailboats, but we made it no damage and we're in the slip and it's a floating slip and I've never felt so secure in a slip in my life. Um, and the location's unbelievable. So I couldn't be happier. I'm back in the Seabrook shipyard right where I started out when I first came to Texas and found my very first boat here. And it feels so good to be here. I can't even tell you, I really can't. And this dock is one that I always wanted to be on. I always used to walk on this side of the marina and look on this dock and go, man. And it wasn't even a floating dock. I don't think they had any floating docks. I'm gonna have to walk around. They've done so many improvements. But this place is really unbelievable. It's uh, the largest marina on the Gulf Coast. And I believe it may be the oldest. I know they used to build submarine destroyers here, but uh, so I'm just chilling. Uh, I've got some incense actually burning, trying to make the boat smell a little better. And it's getting there, it's really getting there. I'm gonna order my outboard motor. I'm gonna get a propane Mercury 5 horsepower and uh, hopefully that will do the trick. Otherwise I'll probably get a six or an eight. It's gotta have an alternator on it and there. The sail power from the Mercury is now coming with a four or five amp alternator. So I'm gonna go put in my order. I think it takes two and a half weeks from West Marine and I'm gonna look around and see if I can find it anywhere um, from a local guy instead of West Marine see if I can get it from them so they can service it happily and maybe get it sooner. So we'll be in touch. But man, we're here. The Seabrook Shipyard, buddy. We made it. The fun starts now. The bay is right there under that bridge. It's Galveston Bay. It's good sailing. A lot of, a lot of boats, a lot of good times. I love Kima. I love this area. So much fun. Seabrook is so nice. So anyway, first night at the shipyard. <laughs> See, I'm alright by the sea.